good morning good afternoon and good evening from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world welcome to verdict tv and thank you for tuning into this channel the news headline biafra day you once declared you don't believe in nigeria police namdi kanu Separatist group mass up appeals to Tinubu. Once again, you're welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning into this channel. Kindly listen to the hand, the news details. The movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra mass up has called on President Bola Tinubu to release Mr. Namdekano. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, from continued incarceration in the facility of the Department of State Services. The pro Biafran group also stated that the people of the Southeast region will never succumb to internal colonialism in Nigeria, insisting that freedom can never be achieved on a platter of gold. Masob leader, Comrade Uche Namadu, who stated during the 56th anniversary of the declaration of Biafra held in Enugu on Monday, explained that persecutions and political subjections have always strengthened the zeal of genuine freedom fighters. He said, the more the freedom fighters are politically incarcerated, the more they are adding, and the more the followers become uncontrollable. Madu commended the people of the Southeast region for their eloquent observation of today's Biafra Day anniversary celebration by staying at home to pray for the repos of their grandfathers and grandmothers, uncles and over 3 million people of the region that were killed or starved to death during the 1967 to 1970 civil war. According to Madu, ethnic cleansing is still being weighed against the Biafrans of today by the Nigerian security forces for asking that they should be treated equally in a country their fathers fought for its creation. Today, we observe the 56th year anniversary in, uh, of the Biafra Declaration by General Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku, the then President of the Republic of Biafra. Today, we remember, celebrated, and commemorated the sacrifice of our gallant soldiers of Biafra, made for our freedom. Masob remember the pains, anguish, hunger, subjections, and supreme prices our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters paid for Biafra freedom. We shall continue to remember them because their sufferings always provoke and revive our unshakable and undeterred zeal and commitment to self-determination of Biafra. It's stated that the new self-determination struggle and the restoration of Biafra is anchored and grounded on the principle of non-violence, adding that members of the group across the world are on sober reflection of the continued persecutions, traumatic social, extrajudicial killings, afflictions, imprisonment, and traumatic deaths in the end of the Nigeria security agents for no justifiable reason other than their request for freedom. The more the f freedom fighters are politically incarcerated, the more they are adding and the more the followers become uncontrollable. Masob demands the release of Maz Namdekanu, the leader of IPOB from the new president of Nigeria, Bola Tinobu, who once declared that it does not believe in Nigeria. So Masob, um, the movement of actualization of sovereign state of Biafra, actually another um, section fighting for the um, 
fighting for the success of Biafra and the secession of the Biafra state from Nigeria has actually called President Bola Metinobu to release Nambi Khan because he, they said that um, President Bola Metinobu once said that he doesn't believe in Nigeria. So how then is he still holding on to Nigeria since he doesn't believe in Nigeria? So... Um, uh, Bolatinobu should release Inamdi Kano from the continuous incarceration of uh, facility from the Department of State Services. So they said that the the Ipos will never settle down. The southeastern um, region will never settle down for colonialism in the nation because they cannot always be sidelined. And that is what their um, fathers, their sisters, their forefathers, that was what they actually fought in the civil war. They fought for Nigeria. They fought for themselves. So why then, after uh, after all those fights, will they now be sidelined or colonialized in their own country? So the Masop leader, Comrade Uche Namado, actually said this in the 56th anniversary of the declaration of Biafra held in Enugu on Monday. So uh, what's your view concerning this news? Can you share your view in the comment section? And don't forget to like and share. And also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. Of course, to the end of today's news, thank you for listening to the end.